The automation world is a jungle, and within this automation jungle, you know there's bound to be an 800 pound gorilla. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Automation Under 3. Today we're talking about Siemens, the largest player in the automation game. Um, Siemens has many different segments, totally integrated automation, motion control, industrial controls, industrial comms and networking, RFID and locating, just to name a few. Today we're going to be talking about the Cymatic IPC-127E. It's an ultra-compact industrial PC. Um, in today's world of IoT, collecting data can be an issue. Not all machines on the factory floor speak the same data language. With this guy as a remote gateway, we can help solve that. Today we're going to be using an S7-1500, 1515 to be exact. We're going to use it as an OPC UA server, and we're going to use it in conjunction with our IPC-127E to collect some data and have it viewable for us. Wow, look at all those ports. You can also get an extended version with uh, three USB ports and three Ethernet ports as well. Okay, let's get to the project. So we're going to open up uh, Siemens TIA portal. I have a project already prepared that um, I've set up the server uh, just to kind of pare down a little bit of the time. Um, so as you can see, I'll open up to the device view here. Um, and then I'm going to right click on the PLC, and go to properties, and then I'll go down to the OPC UA tab. And then I'm just going to check a couple boxes. I'm going to pretty much open this thing wide open. You can see the address there that we're going to have to put into our Node-RED application. Um, there's port number and some port properties that we can mess with. But again, I'm not going to put any security on this. Uh, I'm going to leave it wide open so that it's easily accessible for us in the Node-RED project. Um, if you wanted to go through this, yeah, you could, you could update it and, and put all the security you wanted on it. Um, but I'm not going to do that just for our purposes today. So I've created a custom function block with a bunch of variables in it. Um, I did that just so that I could adjust some values and that we could see it on the IPC side of things. So there you see those values. And here we are on, this is the IPC side. Um, I've downloaded the Node-RED application and um, all the different palettes needed for OPC UA communication. And uh, from there, it was pretty simple. Um, you inject, which is a way of selecting the tags that you want to see. Um, so I injected two different tags. And then um, you'll see that I have an OPC UA read function as well. And that's where I'm going to just show you where the port data is um, contained. So you'll see it there. I zoom in on it. It's the same as in the PLC. Here you can see the data coming in. It comes in on uh, every couple seconds. And that's it, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in for another Automation Under 3, where we try to tackle a topic in under three minutes. Today, we're slightly over three minutes. But next time, we'll do better. Uh, we got some good things in store, some fun topics coming up. We'll see you later.